crowd is loud and on its feet as Ricky Sutherland gets things started. It's taken at the one. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. So in this matchup of top-ranked quarterbacks, it's QB2 with a chance to strike first on this opening drive. And they finally make a stop after a big-time game. A 21-yard game, and that's a first down and then some. Out of the gun, it's QB2. Oh, change of plans, he tucks the ball. He pulls it in. A big time play that gets a roar from this crowd. So following Tommy's stunning catch in his return, QB2 looks downfield, but it's a one. Now he's taken down. No gain on the catch. Here comes second down. Just one yard away. It's second and goal. Looking to pass. He's got it! Touchdown, Knights! He used to throw him, now he catches him. Tommy is back. Myers now to add the extra point. And that's good for a 7-0 lead. Touchdown, the Hawks are back to receive. Fielded at the 18. And he's down at the 30. Let's get him. Come on. So for the first time in this showcase, we'll get a good look at quarterback Braxton Knight and this dynamic Hawks offense. Looking for a receiver. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Braxton Knight, easily one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, hasn't faced a double-digit deficit since he became a starter last season. When he gets this offense clicking, it is a sight to behold. And he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. A pickup of eight on the play, and that makes it third and two. Go with the run. And that'll be good for a first down on a tough run up the middle. All these kids so thrilled when they found out this year's edition of the showcase would be played at the home of the Kansas City Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. This is now a premier event on the high school football calendar. With just a mile to go, it's second and long. Out of the gun, it's Knight. And it's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. Apparently, the kids on the field weren't the only ones thrilled about this game being at Arrowhead. We've got an incredible turnout for one of the most hyped matchups of this season. Knight looks downfield. Not able to throw it away. Gives up the sack. And so the Hawks are ready to punt it away. And he gives it the boot. Here's Washington. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. So the Knights are lined up now. And all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands is pointed at that young man. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. So get this, earlier today I was speaking with Hawks coach Kevin Robbins and in typical fashion, he did not hold back about today's matchup. He proclaimed his D would be so good against QB2, they'd end up putting Tommy Matthews back at quarterback. Bold words. Boy, a brisk 
pace to this drive as they look to keep up the momentum. Now from the red zone, it's QB2. It's caught! Touchdown, Knights! Tommy Matthews adds another score in his return. It's a legend in the making. And now it's time for the extra point. And they stretch the lead 14 to nothing. Following the touchdown, the Knights are ready to kick it away. Fielded at the 18. And he stopped at the 32-yard line. First play of the drive for the Hawks. And field general Braxton Knight finds himself in an unusual situation. He's not used to being down double digits at any point in his career. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Arrowhead Stadium, one of the best venues in all of football. And you know who loves it here? The coach, Jonathan Coachman. Big time Chiefs fan. He's a Kansas native, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the house today. Still looking to throw, it's Knight. Goes to his left, it's complete. The 30, 10, touchdown! C.J. Cole, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. Gets it to go. The tally now, 14 to seven. After giving up the touchdown, the Knights are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And he's taken down after crossing the 20 yard line. First play of the drive for the Knights. And let's be honest, the playbook should take advantage of the way QB2 is reading the D and making great decisions. And they'll take him down after a nice pickup. So yes, there's an obvious reason why they call this the Midwest Prep Showcase. Every year, it's quite literally a showcase of the nation's top players. This year is the first time they've ever had the top two quarterbacks in the country face off. I'm speaking, of course, about QB2 and Braxton Knight. Meantime, they pick up the first with that run on second down. Shotgun snap. Here's QB2. Pulled in by Maddox. Ten. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. Jamison Maddox. A showcase highlight for years to come. They extend their lead. 14 points separate these teams. Following the touchdown, the Knights are ready to kick it away. Fielded at the 18. Launches the stiff arm. And he stopped near midfield after coming up with a great return. And that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. And coming up shortly, more 11.